from a Gargano Christmas, an amazing tag team title match, a amazing return, and possibly a dream return. All that and more on this episode of Kimmy Talks Wrestling. We are talking all about NXT because it took place at 8, so I got to watch both. This brand new episode of Kimmy Talks Wrestling is starting right now, and happy holidays! So, the, ma- the night starts off, rather, with the NXT Tag Team Championship match in a street fight. Uh, it was either a street fight or no DQ. This match was really good. It was killing a Dean and, uh, oh. <laughs> and Drake Maverick versus, oh, versus the NXT Tag Team Champions. And this was a really good match. Lorcan, uh, uh, bleh. <laughs> Lorcan's team obviously got the win here, but it was a really good match. It was a great showing by Dillian and Maverick, definitely taking them as a serious tag team. And all across the board, never believe the goal for 2021 is to work on their tag teams because their tag team game is not that good. But it's super easy match to get into. Fun, exciting, way to go. But we have to talk about the Gargano Christmas. It was the first Gargano family Christmas with Austin Theory and Indy Hartwell, of course, taking place in the festives. And everybody got presents, whether it was Austin Theory getting gar- the Gargano Way protein powder, Indy Wrestling getting a PS5, but then finding out that she's finally adapted to the Gargano name. So now she's known as Indy Wrestling. Get it? independent wrestling haha ha, i know and candice Wright obviously getting part of shotzi blackheart's tank which was the wheel which was the last remaining part before loray obviously ruined it this was super funny um my favorite part was when like, gargano was like playing the piano at the beginning of her and he was like you heard of elf on the shelf huh what about gargano on the piano this was a super fun segment i love gargano in this role he makes an awesome heel um, obviously, next week, it's going to be Leon Ruff versus Gargano again for the North American Championships. That's a match I'm really looking forward to if I decide to watch it next week. But I love Gargano as a heel. I can't wait to see what he's going to do in 2021. Hopefully, LeRae wins the Women's Championship so they can be the dynamic duo they're always meant to be. But this was super good. But Timothy Thatcher versus Leon Ruff, um, Leon Ruff got the win. So the first thing I immediately said was, wow, Leon Ruff is going back to being a jobber right away which sucks, but this was actually really good. Okay. This was actually really good. Um, Ruff got the surprise roll up here, and I'm excited to see what they're going to do with Ruff. I, I want to keep the title, but I want them to put Ruff in more like a serious storyline type thing. I don't know who that would be, who that would be with, but serious storylines for 2021. And Mercedes Martinez is back. Oh, my God. My girl. Yes, queen. So excited. Damage 365 alumni here. <laughs> but um, Tony Storm called out Io Shirai, and Io comes to the ring. He's like, come on, Tony. Come at me. Come at me. Her music plays, and Mercedes Martinez attacks her from behind. I'm super excited for this feud. Mercedes Martinez is probably one of the best women dressers that NXT has right now. So I'm really excited, and I Oh, I'm so excited. I'm hoping it takes place in New Year's Evil. Maybe it takes place at whatever the February takeover is going to be. But, yeah, it's what a great way to, you know, kick that off. And our dream has returned, but Adam Cole shows that the Undisputed Era will always remain on top as the as Dream returns. Cole slaps Dream, and then it's Dream versus Cole in the main event. This is a really good main event. Of course, Cole gets to win because, you know, Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, baby. Um... <laughs> Uh, any match that Adam Cole's in is going to be amazing. Um, Dream looked really good here, but I want to kind of see what they're going to go with next for him. But I'm excited. I'm hoping Cole goes after that North American Championship. Maybe that could go for 2021. Maybe tag titles with him and Strong since Fish is out. So who knows? But that was my NXT review, of course, the first one we're doing on this. Um, right after this video, we're going to do Dynamite. And then... On an actual camera, we're going to be doing SmackDown on Saturday. Hooray. So make sure to like this video, comment what you liked about NXT. Make sure to click that notifications button and subscribe. And I will see you guys after this video. Happy holidays. Adios, amigos.